Hello. Today I'm going to speak to you about a prayer called Liturgy of the Hours. Now I had never heard of Liturgy of the Hours until I got to grad school and I studied theology and I was handed this book called Christian Prayer. And it's got these ribbons in it and the different prayers are all throughout the book and you have to kind of navigate and flip back and forth while you're saying the prayers to find the right section and part that you're at. And I'm watching my classmates and they're just boop, 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 flipping, flipping through, never missing a beat, totally staying uh, in the right spot. And I was very intimidated. But eventually I got used to the flow of things. I learned where to find you know, the hymns and the, the different prayers for each day and you get used to it. But um, I was very intimidated to begin with. And what I learned w about Liturgy of the Hours is it's a public prayer. That's why it's called Liturgy. And there's five times during the day when you pray the different prayers. So five different hours. So liturgy of the hours. And it's, it's a public prayer because even though we might be praying it individually or with our community, whether that's a family or a religious community, even though we're praying it in our own building, Christians throughout the world are praying it every day, praying the same prayers throughout the whole world. So... It's, yes, it's individual, but it's very much a universal church prayer. You're never praying these prayers alone. The prayers are rooted in the Psalms, and if you pray all five hours each day for four weeks, it's got a four-week uh, rotation, you'll pray almost all 150 Psalms that we find in the Bible. That's a big commitment, so I recommend taking it a little slow. You know, maybe start with night, nighttime prayer each, each day and, and build up from there, um, if you'd like. But because the Psalms cover a range of emotions, you know, some days you'll be reading Psalms that are happy and glorifying God. Some days they're, they're sad and asking God, you know, how long do we have to deal with this? You might not feel those particular emotions at the time that you're praying this, these Psalms, but someone in the world is feeling that. So even if we are not necessarily identifying with the emotions in the Psalms, we're praying in solidarity for other Christians in the world who might be going through something that the Psalms are, are expressing. So you can use this book if you'd like, a book like this, um, but I also recommend an app. Uh, because this book requires a lot of navigation around the book and, and flipping the pages and everything, there's an app called iBrevery. Brevery comes from the word short or brevity, so it's because it's short prayers. Um, this is also called a brevery. But I brevery, and I'll put a link down in the video description. Uh, just it makes it very simple. It lays out all the prayers for each of the hours. You can select the day. If you want to do daytime prayer, nighttime prayer, evening prayer, and it just lays it all out. And it's very easy to just scroll through and follow along with the prayers. So I highly recommend that. So today I'm going to lead you in nighttime prayer. It's kind of one of the more simple. Uh, prayers. It's one of the shorter ones because usually you pray it late at night when you're very tired and ready to go to bed. So it's, a, it's a, one of the shorter prayers and I think it'll be uh, a good introduction to the style of, of these prayers. But if you want to, you know, as you're learning and if you want to navigate these a bit more deeply, you can certainly email me or give me a call and I'd be happy to, to walk you through other prayers if you need help navigating as well. So let's begin. Okay, so nighttime prayer begins with this introduction. And we say it as we make the sign of the cross. So we say, God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. And we say, Alleluia, after the Amen, because we're still in the Easter season. You can do a brief examination of conscience, so you kind of reflect on the day and see, you know, where you saw God, where you were your best. You also can reflect on moments when you struggled to be your best and where maybe you need some God, God to help you out a bit. They also invite you to sing a hymn, which can be found in the back. There's different hymn numbers um, back there. I will spare you my singing, though. Today is Thursday, so... We're going to flip ahead to Thursday night. So after we do our opening, um, God come to my assistance, and we bless ourselves, then we begin right into the day. So each psalm has an antiphon, and then the verses of the psalm, and then you say the antiphon again. 
So when it's not the Easter season, you would say, in you, my God, my body will rest in hope. And then you can turn the page and go right into the verses. But right now we're still in the Easter season. So we, so we just say, Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Okay, now we go into the Psalm verses. If you're with another person, you can take turns reading each paragraph. But if you're by yourself, then you just read through it. Preserve me, God, I take refuge in you. I say to the Lord, you are my God. My happiness lies in you alone. He has put into my heart a marvelous love for the faithful ones who dwell in his land. Those who choose other gods increase their sorrows. Never will I offer their offerings of blood. Never will I take their name upon my lips. O Lord, it is you who are my portion and cup. It is you yourself who are my prize. The lot marked out for me is my delight. Welcome indeed the heritage that falls to me. I will bless the Lord who gives me counsel, who even at night directs my heart. I keep the Lord ever in my sight. Since he is at my right hand, I shall stand firm. And so my heart rejoices, my soul is glad. Even my body shall rest in safety. For you will not leave my soul among the dead, nor let your beloved know decay. You will show me the path of life, the fullness of joy in your presence, at your right hand, happiness forever. Then we end with a glory be, glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Then we go back to repeat the antiphon. Since we're still in the Easter season, Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Once Easter ends, you would repeat the normal antiphon. After that antiphon, we go back and we pick up where we left off, which is a reading from First Thessalonians. May the God of peace make you perfect in holiness. May he preserve you whole and entire, spirit, soul, and body, irreproachable at the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. Next, we have a responsorial. This would be the, the normal responsorial, but during Easter, we read this one, which is pretty much the same, but it adds the words, Alleluia. Into your hands, Lord, I commend my spirit. Alleluia, Alleluia. And then you repeat, into your hands, Lord, I commend my spirit. Alleluia, Alleluia. You have redeemed us, Lord God of truth. Alleluia, Alleluia. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Into your hands, Lord, I commend my spirit. Alleluia, Alleluia. Okay, after the responsory, we move on to the canticle. So again, there's the antiphon, and then the canticle, a glory be, follows that, even though it's not printed, and back up to the antiphon to close it. Protect us, Lord, as we stay awake. Watch over us as we sleep, that awake we may keep watch with Christ, and asleep rest in his peace. Alleluia, because it's Easter. Lord, now you let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. My own eyes have seen the salvation, which you have prepared in the sight of every people a light to reveal, to reveal you to the nations and the glory of your people, Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Protect us, Lord, as we stay awake. Watch over us as we sleep, that awake we may keep watch with Christ, and asleep rest in his peace. Alleluia. Lord God, send peaceful sleep to refresh our tired bodies. May your help always renew us and keep us strong in your service. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. And as we read this final blessing, we, we bless ourselves in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. May the all-powerful Lord grant us a restful night and a peaceful death. Amen. And then we close with a hymn to Mary, or an antiphon to Mary. And those can be found on this page. And you can see there's lots of different options. Hail Holy Queen. Hail Mary, Salve Regina, different options. So to, just for our sake, we'll go with the Hail Mary. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Now you can rest peacefully, knowing that Christ is watching over you.